The Type 61 is one of the most frustrating vehicles that you can play in the game because it is so good. And that might seem a bit weird that a good tank is frustrating to play, but it's because this brilliant tank of what it does, which is a support medium, really struggles when you don't have anyone to support. I mean, that is the definition of a support medium. And that makes uh, playing World of Tanks console quite difficult to make the Type 61 work consistently throughout every single one of your games because simply you do not have the armor to deal with the tanks if you are going to be the one that is going to be up front and personal or up close and personal uh, with the enemy vehicles. So when you have that sort of situation it can be really really annoying. Uh, but what is great about this tank is that it has amazing alpha damage with really good accuracy and a brilliant amount of gun depression, making it one of the more flexible medium tanks in the game, as well as combine that with a brilliant power to weight ratio for a medium and also uh, with a decent top speed limit, it makes it really, really good. I actually thoroughly enjoy playing the Type 61, but for most people it's probably going to be a little bit of a painful experience to play this vehicle. And so I've picked this gameplay right here as the starter because this is the kind of, I guess, more average game that you'll have in the Type 61 and some of the difficulties that you have when playing in a vehicle like this, albeit, yes, I'm sure we make some misplays in this game. Um, but yeah, you'll certainly find yourself in a lot of situations where it feels just bad. Um, and so we've done about 800 damage with a little bit of assistance because we have really good view range with this tank. Really good view range. Now, uh, obviously auto-aiming a TS-5 is not a good idea, so we're actually going to aim that one. And because the heat rounds are amazing on this vehicle, uh, you can do that. Uh, and we found ourselves a nice little ISU. We uh, were a complete bot and actually aimed for the mantlet, which of course, when you've got spaced armor and you're firing a mantlet of an ISU, which is pretty thick, it's not going to do anything. So obviously you want to aim to the left and right of that tank if we're going to do it, but unfortunately we don't manage to. But don't worry because we managed to hit the top of the <laughs> C-54 there and penned him instead. So... This game not going particularly too well with regards to how much damage we've done given we're two and a half minutes into the game and have had a lot of opportunities already to deal quite a bit of damage. So what happens when your team suddenly just disappears because they've been losing way too much health towards some of these opponents that are pushing forward. You can see here that we've got three tanks in front of me, make that four if we count the heavy on the left. Um, but the problem is now the enemy team have the entire right flank and it means that uh, they're going to basically come up from behind us very shortly. And when you let a team have the entirety of the map control within a game, well guess what? It doesn't usually end up with you winning the map because, of course, they now have the option to shoot us in the side if for all of the people like the Valor and this E4 who have moved into the middle, they can get hit in the side by all of the tanks who have won the forest, which is not good. So uh, in, do in saying that, we are going to try and move and try and stop the onslaught of vehicles that are going to be moving from the forest towards our base and of course the people from behind us. Um, so with that being said, we picked up 1300 damage, but now we're getting out spotted by a medium or a light tank who has pushed up or from behind, as well as also now having people from behind bouncing off a 268 there, getting unlucky, which is just fantastic. Uh, and now you see the uh, little uh, German light tank, that's because we hit the uh, lower half of that vehicle, which has uh, spaced armor in the form of tracks, so that's why we didn't pen the light tank. Obviously, you'd be wanting to swap back to the AP rounds if you're firing at the Rheimatal, but we're not sure what we're going to come up against, so uh, yeah. And then the heat about, I just probably couldn't be asked to change rounds because it doesn't make that much of a difference most of the time. Uh, sometimes you'll pen when you probably wouldn't with AP. Don't know what the hell that shot was, but okay. Um, and then you see the E75 come in, and you can see it's quite a t an easy tank to pen if we actually manage to hit the Coppola. Now, that top of the vehicle, the E75, is not particularly very good. Now, because we're firing heat ammunition, uh, yeah, I believe it. we can't actually overmatch. And uh, even though that is the case, I was really hoping that we'd be able to pen. And there you go, we're out of the game. So, 
it's very quick. Things can turn very quickly when you're playing in a uh, in a tank like this, and certainly did in this game. We played okay, probably more poor than good, um, but at the same time, you can see how easy it is to get punished in a vehicle like this, where we basically didn't really bounce anything, and a lot of the TDs sitting quite comfortably back in this match makes it a lot more difficult for you guys. Uh, you in a medium tank to actually carry because there's not that many heavies um, in the general games There was quite a few in this one um, But in general games that you'll play it will be more difficult to actually carry in um, Because you don't have the support you can't support something that isn't there and most of the time the TDs are supporting themselves with their thousand alpha plus uh, main armaments at tier 10 um, but with that being said, you know, pretty poor result for me within that battle, but we still picked up a bit of assistance and that's one brilliant fact about the Type 61. Of course, we're running uh, with advanced loader, advanced optics and advanced concealment for good view range and DPM with the tank. And of course, uh, we can swap over to the next gameplay. Now, the next gameplay that we do have is Highway. And Highway is, um, it's a pretty good map for a medium. Uh, especially one that is relatively fast and has gun depression. It's almost the perfect match for a Type 61 and hopefully we'll be able to have a bit better of a game than the previous one in this one. Uh, and the whole point of showcasing the Type 61 to you guys today was actually to show you that you can play tech tree vehicles that aren't just your bog standard ones. You don't have to be playing FE 4005s all the time and often you can actually be very very um, well, it can be a lot more fun to play a vehicle like this as opposed to playing a vehicle that is, you know, predominantly played as an overpowered vehicle. So, with that being said, we can move over to the this flank. Now, there aren't a huge amount of support over here, but there's enough and there's not that many vehicles that are pushed up, at least so far. We've got a light tank in the middle, so we don't want to get spotted by him just yet. Um, but what we can hopefully do is get a few shots on these mediums and stuff that are pushing around. And if we can get rid of this light tank, then that'll be perfect, because, uh, yeah, he could be a real pain in the backside for just spotting us every time. Um, but he's kind of yoloed away and we've now found ourselves some guys who have pushed up to our teammate here and hopefully we can get a couple of side shots. We managed to hit the Amarak of the IS-7, uh, low caliber guns and all of that. Um, but you can see there, hopefully we get another one and then his teammate pulls back and we only track him, which is not fun. I was hoping for a bit of damage there. Um, but don't worry because the enemy team have been throwing themselves <laughs> against the rest of our team here. And we found ourselves a KPZ. And really, this tank is just an opportunistic sniper. It's kind of one of those where uh, you essentially just need to punish people when they make misplays. Things like the KPZ, as long as you're being aware and know exactly where the opponents are, what the sort of plays they're making, like this very silly play from the KPZ to sit up there. Um, yeah, you can punish them pretty hard and he's going to say goodbye back to the garage. No love lost there. Uh, there's an STRVK and an I-7 still, uh, and our teammates haven't really lost that much health, considering that they've been YOLO'd by about a million tanks all in one go. Uh, we don't manage to pen the Centuro, not really expecting to pen that one, since it was only his upper plate that we could actually see when we fired. Um, so maybe we can get a shot here. Can we get the side of the turret? Oh, he goes undetected, just literally as we were looking. Uh, and he keeps cresting, but there is a little bit of a ridge line in between me and him. And um, the problem with me pushing any further is I don't want to get detected because uh, there's always some TD campers uh, who are often in the back. But luckily we find ourselves a Tiger 2 who has uh, decided that, you know, three minutes into the game he's going to push to where this, all of his teammates have died and probably should have done that a long time ago. Uh, but I guess he can go back to the garage pretty quickly as well. That was definitely a worthy cross yeah, not entirely sure what was going on in that one, but either way, we're up to nearly 3k damage with 900 assist, and there's still quite a bit of damage left in this game. Artillery doing its artillery things, trying to get me, um, of course, paper medium and all of that, trying to pen me. Uh, I don't think so, Mr. Artillery, not today. 
You get me most of the time, but not today. Uh, we have the Leopard 1. We've got also a TD in the back, which is the Gorilla 15. Hopefully we can get some on him, but we're going to need HE if we want to deal with him. Because uh, with the HE rounds of these uh, Japanese mediums, it can make them very, very strong. Very strong. Um, because they have good DPMs, really nice DPMs. Of course, the uh, when you go up to the top one, which is the STB-1, the STB-1 has a lot more armor on the turret than the Type 61, which basically doesn't have any. Um, and it also gets 390 Alpha, I believe. It still has the 390 as opposed to the 360, which is on PC. Um, and that's basically going to mean that you're going to have okay DPM, it's nothing outrageous, but uh, of course if you had lower alpha damage it would be nicer because you can keep on firing, you can track people easier, uh, and sometimes the 360 mark is kind of the sweet spot where I feel like it's enough, but also not too much if that makes sense. Now we aren't quite reloaded, and of course we can't quite get another shot on the Gorilla 15, but we picked up 3.6k. Which isn't bad at all, but he gets removed. And hopefully we can get a little bit more damage. Hopefully someone over here is going to be on a bit of health for us to get at least one more shot in. And Oh, there he is, the ST2. Let's aim, let's aim, let's go for the track and pen. Nope, we just tracked, brilliant. That was AP as well, so not heat ammo, so it should have potentially gone through. Uh, then we go for a shot on the side, and unfortunately the car re's there, uh, so it ends up blocking the shot, not on purpose by him, but, you know, it's annoying that that hit him. And then we do actually finally pan the shot into the lower plate of the ST2 uh, to pick up 3.9k, basically, with a 900 assist. So not a bad game, but you can kind of see where this tank is going and the sorts of games you can have with a tank like it. It is a very much a support vehicle and why I think the Japanese heavies, uh, Japanese mediums overall are going to be the ones that you might want to test out and give a go because uh, they are really fun but I would recommend you actually avoid these as a beginner medium tank line because they are relatively difficult to get the hang of and take a bit of time to actually get used to. So. I would go with the British or the American mediums to begin with and then move into some of the more nuanced ones, things like the Leopard 1, that sort of thing, paper mediums, and then potentially moving on to the STB-1. But other than that, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see some more, there will be some videos linked on screen right now. And if you want to check out any of the playlists, there's one on screen as well, which will showcase a ton of videos in the gameplay and tank reviews playlist where we basically go through an infinite supply of tanks in this game. And hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.